Hello, listeners. Welcome to another episode of the Gambia Football Show, um, presented to you by the Jolo Football Bantaba. I am your host, Chama. And as always, I have my co-host, Koche. Koche Nakam. Wow, Chama, my fine, my fine. Slam alaikum, Sun Fan, Zin Bore and the Jamai. My energy for the name of Nakawatu. Slam alaikum. Tena Himlen Amalfini, a big, big episode because as we know, um, last week we were talking about the seeding of the African Cup of Nations draw. And uh, finally, the draw has been made last Tuesday. And today, our main focus will be on the African Cup of Nations draw. And in particular, we're going to focus on the Gambian group. Of course, Gambia this is our first ever African Nations, Nations Cup qualification. So this is a big, 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 big achievement for Gambian football. And uh, yeah, we cannot wait for the tournament to start. But before we start, um, as always, um, this is the Jollof Football Bantaba YouTube channel. Um, if you're new around here, please help us and subscribe to our channel. And if you like what we're doing, please hit that like, like button. Also, you can hit that notification bell so that anytime we put up any podcast or anything relating to Gambian football, you will be the first to know. So I think now it's time to get into it. But first, Coche, um, like as we say last week, the European leagues have started. Italian league is supposed to start this week. It, it has already started. Some games has been played. Um, English league, there is a two weeks already gone. Um, the Swiss league, like there is a few weeks gone already. And as we know, we have some few Gambians playing abroad. Um, yesterday, as you know, Sastabi, Asan Sise, he scored a big, big winner. I, I, I think you updated us in the Code Classic group. Yeah. Because I follow him on his social media accounts and things like that. And I am really enjoying his progress this season. But not only him, um, a lot of other Gambians. I think uh, a few of them will be playing today in the Italian league. Roma should be playing uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, Dabo. Um, Sampdoria too is supposed to be playing today. We have Koli there. So, Munda, you just, just some... So some 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 few updates on the players who were in action this weekend. Wow, come nigo jis nigo nigo jis alerek asan si Torres is na limdef and na assist before amma goal last minute last goal. That's the game against Grasshopper. It was a very 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 vital win. Akta mit man man am be na star wo ham ne yaka na nigo de ham ko gambi ko star la demo da wo demo da wo se very very good striker. Raka del Piero la number one. Yeah. Wow. wow. Eh? Wow. Yeah, Kuk, what, what did I go by him? Has he ever have any call up? He ha, ha, Did no. he have any card with the Gambia yet? No, no, no. What? We have never scored with the Gambia yet. Always. How could we not have any card with the Gambia yet? Not for the Nega. But just for the Gambia yet. Okay. Hopefully. 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 Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Because, because he's a very good style. He's, he's powerful. He's strong. He's quick. And he's a very, very good finisher. Yeah. So, and any other players that you followed that happened to have a game this weekend over this oh, this period? Well, uh, no. I'm not a regular job to not see an update. Because I'm not a man who's a world seeker. So, I'm not a man who's 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 a Sala Nitana, that is a new Italian. I think they just came up. Bologna, they will play in tonight against Sala Nitana. And um, yeah, Sandoria, they will play AC Milan tonight too. Um, 24th. Uh, that's tonight, but it's going to be. That's tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow they play they, they play AC Milan. Sandoria, that is a big game. Uh, th- we have expect Omar Coli to be playing in that game. And uh, Roma, um, Roma play Fiorentina too. 
tonight. So yeah, I will try to catch on those games. I will try to watch them and see if hopefully Dabo start. He missed their last game in the Europa European Conference Cup. He did not play. He was on the bench throughout. But I hope that he find a spot in the team in the coming game. But yeah, um, hopefully we will try to give more update, more detailed update, more insight about Gambian footballers going forward. Um, we will try to keep tabs with them now against the African Cup of Nations and beyond. But um, today, like we say, the main topic of discussion is the African Cup of Nations draw. The draw has been made and uh, this was the draw. Uh, six groups of course the competition has been ex expanded and now it is 24 teams instead of uh, 16 teams like it used to be and now we have uh, six groups of four and in group a Cameroon Burkina Faso Ethiopia and Cape Verde group B Senegal Zimbabwe Guinea and uh, Malawi and group C Morocco Ghana Comoros and Gabon group D Nigeria Egypt, Sudan, and Guinea-Bissau. Group E, Algeria, Sierra Leone, Equatorial Guinea, Cote d'Ivoire. And Group F, which Gambia includes uh, um, Tunisia, Mali, Mauritania, and Gambia. And the Gambia for the first time ever. Yeah, I think it's a big thing. Before we get into the Gambian group. Uh-huh. No, but no, but no, 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 I know. But yeah, I'm um, coach. Now let's look at these groups, but let's ignore Gambian's group, which we, which we will focus more on. Which group do you think is the toughest group going into the competition? group C, Morocco, Ghana, Gabon, Comoros, or Comoros. Yeah. Yeah, that's but right. Um, yeah, heavyweight, but really, that like is that at least Gabon, Ghana, and Comoros. Gabon, given the fact that they have top players, yeah, so I'll go with Group C. Yeah, Group C is the toughest group. I will agree with you. Co Comoros, of course, they are sim like Gambia. D this is their first ever time qualifying. I think they are a very, very small island, um, in southern Africa. Um, yeah, close to Madagascar, somewhere around there. It's a, it's a beautiful island. Yeah, I think African islands are very beautiful. Um, they are first ever qualification, just like the Gambia, and they are already in the group of debt, as you guys, as you, as you just said. Um, I also think that is the group of debt with Morocco. Morocco is a big nation in Africa, Ghana. Yeah, Ghana will always be a big uh, uh, footballing nation in Africa. And Gabon, of course, they have one of the best African footballers currently in Aubameyang. So it's not going to be an easy group. But of course, Gabon were in the same group in Gambia. And Gambia ended that group as the top of the group. So at least we can, maybe Comoros can take some confidence from that. And uh, maybe, you never know. So, yeah. It, 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 is looking at, it is looking like a very nice balanced draw for a start. I think all the groups looks, look balanced. And uh, for our country, the Gambia is um, in a group which is difficult because the, we are facing Tunisia. Tunisia is one of the biggest heavyweights in African football. We cannot deny that. Mali, they have been doing well. They are, I would not say they are one of the best, but they, they are a decent team and they have been qualifying regularly. So... Yeah, so guide ahead of them down. Exactly, ex 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 exactly, exactly. So this is the group we actually say: the Gambia, Tunisia, Mali. So if you were to, um, of course, Gambia first game we play Mauritania and uh, Mali play Tunisia, which is a very very good, I think, start for the Gambia, because looking at the caliber of teams in the group, I think um, Mauritania, uh I'm, I'm not disrespecting them, but they look like the weaker team. Like, of course, we are we are in the same level with them, the Gambia. I think they have a better FIFA ranking than Gambia. But if you are looking at this team, the team you will want to play for will be Mauritania, not Soche. 
Well, man, man, I think otherwise. What do you think? Man, always, always, I'm going to feel for man. Some, some guys are good. The toughest thing I've ever faced. Wow. The toughest thing I've ever faced. Guys, the boss was he, was he Guinea? Was I maybe win or was he draw? Right. That's why I'm more confident. That's how the boss was the next game. You know what I'm saying? The easier team or the biggest team that I've ever faced on match. Uh huh. Bah, because I'm going to be very confident. I'm going to be. Boom, not But next have more experience than But um, I think for me personally, I just wanna you know get my like my competition up and running and the better chance we have to do that is by playing against the weakest team in the group so if you win your first game and the two toughest team play each other um whoever lost that game they're already in the back foot right and uh you are already in a very good position because yeah i don't think if you if, if we cannot uh i'm not gonna dis- disrespect Moody there but if we cannot beat that if we, if we cannot get three points from the first game then i think it is almost uh impossible for us to qualify in the group personally i think so I think that's a big, big game for us. So we should go out there. Um, if you look at the players we have, the players, the caliber of players we have, um, in terms of professionals, I think uh, yeah, we are, yeah, we are as as good as any team in this group, because Tunisian team mostly they play, yeah. Of course, the Tunisian league they are very good leagues and so, things like that. But Mali players, they have some good players, but a lot of inexperienced players, which we will look at when we look at the teams into the in details. Mauritania too, likewise, they have a lot of kind of experienced players, but they are all home-based players or something like that. So looking at the caliber of players and the quality of leagues they are playing, I think Gambia is up there against all these teams. Of course, not as a nation, but as players, I think the team, the players are up there as good as anything we, we can we can we can face in this group. What do you think about it? Yeah, you are right. I, I, I agree with you hundred percent. Okay, so let's look at the teams in details and look at their history and stuff like that. So, firstly, we're going to look at um, the Gambia, which is our country. So, yeah, first ever qualification. Of course, our FIFA ranking currently is at 148. And uh, our record in international competitions, um, the World Cup, we have never qualified. The African Cup of Nations, this is our first time ever qualifying. And uh, the Chan, which is the African Cup of Nations, but only for home base players, right? Yeah, so Gambia have not qualified for that either. But um, looking at the players we have now, um, some of the key players I will just point out is Asan Sisi, who we just talked about. He has 18 caps for the country. He plays for FC Zurich in Switzerland and has scored eight goals for the Gambia so far. He's the leading goal scorer, all time leading goal scorer, I think, for Gambia in terms of international goals. Um, uh, Musa Barotu, um, he has not have a lot of experience playing for Gambia, but I think he's one of the biggest players for Gambia currently because he's playing for Bologna. His name is very, very high when it comes to global football. So he's a Gambia. He's kind of the face of Gambian football as it stands. He plays for Bologna and he's actually the star player in that team. Um, I think he's the one of their val- most valuable assets. He has scored two goals for the yeah. Gambia. Mm-hmm. And he has, he has won he has won the MVP of the I think I love the scene for for two consecutive years. Yeah, for two consecutive years, you can hear that. Yeah, he has won that for two consecutive years. And the and the vice captain of the team, Omar Kohli, who also plays in Italy for Sampdoria, he plays a game tonight against AC Milan. So, guys, if you can, um, of course, the, at the time of recording, um, I don't know when this podcast, the podcast will should be released, maybe t- tomorrow or something. So, at the time of recording, he's supposed to play tonight. So, let's hope, let's w- wish him all the best uh, against 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 ac milan so he's the second he's the vice captain of the team he has 27 caps of course we have a lot of good players in the team but you cannot mention every player here so i just try to pick out these three players so going into the competition who do you think chair is going to be um the 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 main players or the key players for the gambian team obviously yeah the whole team is playing for him. The striker, low, 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 low,
So, as I'm saying, our main man, then you go with good luck, come back. See, we don't come as a continuum with the moment of coordination. So, well done. What I mean, Dingen Yantamit, plus like Hamzabari, Yala Melinger, because he's a very, very key player. He's a good Yeah. I know he would rather play football in Ganagawe. Yeah, I had, yeah. I had that he, he's in America right now. They're doing they his rehab. Rehab, so okay. Hopefully, that'll, hopefully that'll be the day. Okay, nice. Yeah, like yeah, like me, why Hamza? Mister, yeah, yeah. I can remember my my days at Methodist Academy. He was a very good, 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 good kid coming up playing. Yeah. Um. Also, we have a few ex- very experienced players in this squad, like uh, Ibrahim Ostohana. They are still around, and uh, and uh, the captain of the squad. These are very important players. They have been there forever, and really. <laughs> Uh, and the goalkeeper, yeah, Toldo, Toldo, and Toldo. Uh, recently, Toldo. Also, I was removed from the side in Yamal recently, just a few days ago. Mm-hmm. Exactly, Nigeria and Yama. Yeah, one of the biggest teams in Nigeria. That's a good, that's a good move, I think. Um, the Nigerian league is not is, is, is a is a very like competitive league, one of the best in Africa. So yeah, I think it's a good move for him. So let's wish him all the best in his new team, Toldo. Yeah. But I think the squad boy, squad the boy, boy, see by then the squad doing more. What they gonna hear lah? We haven't had. I'm getting your am squad with many Gambia. Okay. Wow, okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, different type of players. And then players who go, and then players who skillful, and then players who technical. Hang on. And then different type of players. Yeah. Yeah. And these players with quite a lot of experience. I think we have youth. It's a good mix of youth and experience in the squad too. You right? Definitely. It's very black. The squad is very yeah. black. Yeah, and the defense is very, very good, I think, because it, with so, with Sane and uh, Kuli, I think they are one of the... They are, they are a very good combo, like a good partnership. They have played together for quite a while now, and I think they are all very, very, very good level of... Def- very top-level defenders. Definitely. The league is not the league. Can you play the league regularly? So we'll give you your dollars. Who was Sane? We were saying, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. for the past years, we struggled for the game play and game time, but the game and game time. Akita, I mean, we use him as we cut up. That's why he, he, he did well. James, James Gomez, for the world, he never had a chance in Denmark. Uh-huh. In Denmark, okay, there you go. Yeah, it's good. Competition is very good for the team. Hamga. Bana is terrible, Bana is terrible team. Competition, yeah. Competition is very good. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, five, five, five points here. Yeah. Five points to, to see us too. Okay, now. Mm-hmm. Five points. Five points. That's right. So yeah, I think we can move on to the next country, which is one of our neighbors, Mali. I think Mali is uh, the eagles of Mali. Of course, Gambia is Gambia is the scorpions, and we're gonna face a couple of eagles. Mali is eagles. Tunisia is Eagles and Lions of Mauritania, right? So Mali, the Eagles of Mali, um, they are one of our neighbors, of course, and we have a very uh, sh- like shared culture with them, I think. In this group, I think they are one of our closest, you know, group. Mauritania have seen Boka then, so I said Mauritania have seen Boka. Why Mali? Mali, you know, you're gonna make a new connection than Mauritania. Hamga. So and yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Mali, um, they have a quite a good record in the African Cup of Nations, not in the World Cup wise. Um, in World Cup, they have never qualified, of course, but in African Cup of Nations, they have qualified 12 times and uh, their best uh, finish was as a runner-up in 1972. That's quite a long time ago now. But yeah, they finished second in that in that year. Currently, their FIFA ranking is 68, and uh, they are Chan. That is the the Chan. That is the the home base oh, African Cup of Nations. They have three qualifications, and in 2016, they also finished as runner-up. So they are building a quite a good home base uh, team because if you finish runner-up in in this competition, it means you are having a very solid like home base players coming up. And you look at their key players, uh, Bisuma. Bisuma, I think, you know, one of the best defensive midfielders in the Premier League currently. He's well talked about. He's a very, very good player. He has 16 caps for Mali and three goals. 
uh, Musa Marega. Musa Marega, of course, we know him of Porto, but now he plays for Al Hilal. He has 25 caps and three goals. And Musa Jenepo, one of these trickiest players you would see in Africa, I think. He he's not a, his final product. His final product is not yet there. But when it comes to trickery, when it comes to dribbling, he's one of the best players in the Premier League, I think. Yeah, of course, you have to think about uh, Teraware and uh, San Maximan, but he is very close to those players. Just the, the final product is not there. So these are the key players. He has 18 caps and two goals. What do you think of Mali boy? Go ahead, Ati Mali. Yeah, it's not it's, it's not great for Mali. It's not great for Mali. But uh, of course, when you look at his record, Lumdef Porto. Uh-huh. Yeah, Lumdef Porto. I know. And and Dole Bum Bum and Alak Alak Finance Bum 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 but nonetheless, Mali, 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 they have a very, very good team. I'm one. With, the, with the players that you've just mentioned. Yeah. They, 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 they are good. I'm one. You can get less ranked every week out. Jenny Pope, I'm going to go over here. So he's not yet the finished product, but Mali, Lulu. I'm going to finish, but after COVID-19, I'm going to finish. Yeah. I'm going to finish. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> but it will, be a, a, it will be a very good encounter against them because I think we have some very solid fullbacks who will be going with him neck and neck hamga nyom da fili nda do la ko baye da fla toj be ngak rifin hamga ko gi na ci bir fil bi way yeah okay. but there okay i think yeah. i think i think nyona nyom nyona nyom dina balance na balance sin sin ke bi ni play play rek dina dina balance yeah and another thing about their team Another thing they're missing in the team was is, is experience. They have some good players, some good young players. Bisuma, just 16 caps. Uh, Musa Marega, just 25 caps. Like Musa Jennifer, just 18 caps. So you cannot see. We want to check guys in players. Bisuma for Ben player Koha Mantene, who is currently playing, has this vast experience that, understand, uh, that can, you know, make him stand out. So come Gambia, like we have a lot of good players, but we don't have a lot of experience. But we have a few experienced players who have been there for quite a very, very long time. Of course, we have never come to this stage compared to Mali, but still we have quite an experience compared to them. We ha- like, like the players we have in general are more experienced than the Mali players in African uh, competition or, st- or, or in international competition. Oh. So... Uh, I'm not you, you see the building process. Like I know, but you know, you yeah. struggle la- last year. Yeah, yeah, they didn't ban on Teru. You didn't ban on Sade. You didn't ban on because of saying government uh, we are interfering with things like that. So, but now they are exactly. okay. But they are not going to cause any harm. Aha. The most recent COVID mission. Wow. Aha. They are not going to. But Bisuma, can you have Bisuma? I was also the referee guy's call last COVID mission. Can you have Bisuma? Can you think I have the Mali Mali didn't kick? Bisuma kick like Labo. He does not do it very often in the Premier League, but when he does it. They are so so good, and also they, not just Bisu, not just these players. Huh? Bisu, third team was scored. Scored. Mike Zian got the team that was scored. Was there? No, that was assist. That was assist. That was assist. Demba. More assist. Ah, Maupe Golambe. Send 2-0 win. So yeah, he got an assist. Yeah, but yeah, not only these players. You know, um, like we know, uh, what is it? Adam Atrawale, he is now a Spanish international. He was called to the Mali international, and there was that that you know, it was a drama. He did not turn up. He they were he was called up for Spain and Mali at the same time, but of course he ended up playing for Spain. And uh, I think what was the Mali educator? He was so angry with that. I think he was telling him, yeah, if, if you play, yeah. yeah. Yeah, play we're gonna play a figal, get them get them say on that. But also there is this guy, uh Dukure of Everton. He's also he has also had a call up to the Mali International team, but he has never represented them. So he does not have an he's not an he's not he's not gonna play for France, obviously. He of course he was born in France, but he was not gonna play for France. So I think the best choice for him is gonna be to play for Mali. I think Mali will be trying for him to play in the Cup of Nations too. And he is a very good player. He scored in the first game week, uh, the first match of the season. Everton against uh, who was that? They won against Southampton. He scored one of the Southampton. 
Salam, he scored one of the best goals of that week. Mo equalized. Mo scored second goal. Exactly. He's a very good player too. So I think if they have him in their team, it will it will be a big plus for them. I'm going to hide that. I'm Leipzig. Exactly. Yeah, Leipzig. Mo time they must have given assist. Same game be. Same four zero win be. Given assist. Mo assist Sabasulai. Nakala Sabasulai. Something like that. Yeah. He is very good. And as exactly. And uh, they have some few players also playing at uh, Austria, uh, Salzburg. You know Salzburg is bringing up a lot of African players. Nyom Nabi Keta, Nyom Mane, Nyom Nakalatuda, Nakalatuda, Daka Paston, Daka Kulem. So all of them. So they are doing a good business in Africa. Uh, not business, but they are promoting a lot of African players. They are taking players from Africa at young age and then bringing them up to, you know, making them top players. I think Salzburg, I like their business model though. And uh, yeah, you will see a lot of African players in the Africa Cup of Nations, Nations who are f- playing for Salzburg, I think. Yeah. yeah, can we move? Can we move to the next team? No problem. Sunyan and Bokai. Sunyan Bokai. Nari. Gabi and Bokai. Nari. 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 Eh, yeah, I know. I wish I was in Gambia because I have a very nice friend. I sing sing body can on like sing shop before when they campaign on between our between Mauritania and Nyamsi. So yeah, I I wish I was there and then you know watch the game with them. It will be very nice. I think it will be a very big equation for both these countries. Of course, this is their all. This is only their second time qualifying for the African Cup of Nations, and this is and they do it in the two consecutive times, which is a very good thing for them. They qualify for the first time in 2019. And now in 2021, too, they are already, they are in it too. So I think they are progressing as a team. They are doing something good as a team. So yeah, what do you know about them? Chao, I'm going to be my junior year. Yeah. We're going to go. Wow. Lee Murita, Lee Guinea Bissau, Lee Keva. Yeah. Then we're going to start with some new young, the new young young girls who are going to play. Why things have changed? Yeah. Things have changed because when you're going to play a guy. Um, big game is out. Every minute is rare. Carry me to one, and big guy you got me to zero zero. Uh huh. That was not long ago. Yeah. But 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 what I'm saying like they 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 have they have progress. Baba baba baba. They have been doing well. I'm being mentally because I'm playing for about three years. No more competition. No more because when competition. No standard. No more. They 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 play all competition. No guy never develops in football internally. So we guy play like this. Nothing like send the game with them. It was it, it was okay. It was worth yeah. it. So, guys, like, it's not poor. They are doing the qualifiers, it's tournaments. Just the same as a guy who's come on to win the championship, who got me the one who am partition. Problem for the people, Tani. So, so I'm what they are progress. I'm what, but I think I I I feel like like you know, young with the, with the current squad we have, come on, bro. What they wanna what they wanna do, guys? Comfortable. Okay. So, hard, like, That's now, not- Yeah, of course, of course, I had a lot like, of no problem. You know, you know, the Lions of Chinguiti. <laughs> you know, Lions then the egg in the lane, you know. Lions then. No, 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 no The Africa Cup of Nations. This is their second ever qualification. Um, the f- the previous one was in 2019, where they finished in the group stages, and in the Chan competition, they have never qualified yet. So, looking at their key players, they have Hassan. Um, he plays for CD Logano in Spain. He has 48 caps and scored nine goals for them. And uh, Mustafa Jau, he plays in Al Arabi. Uh, he's he has 41 caps for them. And Ismail Jahite, he plays in Al Shamal. 57 caps and eight goals. Do you know any other players uh, who are quite um, like instrumental in the progress of the Mauritanian team? Well, guy, I'm not Abdullah Mahmoud. I'm a central defender. I'm going to be Alavez. But guy, I'm going to be alone. Croatia right now. Yeah. He's young and 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 I'm going to be new and he's also tall. I'm in Tamil. He's a Muslim. He's a fighter. Sheikh Mullah Ahmed. Yeah. Okay. 
and he used to be very uh popular player in fantasy football you know we played the fantasy game and he he was a very cheap player so he was often in people's team as the cheapest striker who starts and you know when he had that drama with mitrovic that penalty drama mitrovic was supposed to take the penalty and the coach the coach um as asked Mitrovic to take the penalty, but he said, no, I'm going to take the penalty. <laughs> he took the penalty, missed the penalty, and then the coach kind of put him sideways for, for a few games. But yeah, it was a big drama then, back then. I think it's two years ago, when Fulham first came to the Premier League, and then they got relegated, came back to the Premier League, and now they are back down. And I think he's still with them, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. he's still with them. He's still... Okay, nice. Hopefully, we will have a good encounter with him. He will have some great battles with... Uh, What's his name? Koli and uh, hopefully maybe Sane. But yang yawa nakala turati. James. James to Munna neka. James to Munna. James comments from Tamil Munna Amchan. So yeah, Kobe will decide who starts in defense. But I think Koli is the vice captain and he's one of the best defenders in Italian football right now. I would say he's one of the top, top defenders there. So he has to be in that team. And uh, finally, we're going to look at the <laughs> the kings of the group, I will call them. They are the best team in the group. They are one of the best African teams, actually. They have the highest number of qualifications when it comes to World Cups. They have a record number of qualifications. That is Tunisia, of course. They have record number 20 qualifications in the African Cup of Nations. Wow. They, have only, but, uh, they have only won the competition once. That was in 2004. And um, uh, in the... Chan competition they have qualified a couple of times they won it in 2011 too so they have two international honors that is the african cup and the Chan competition the world cup they have never progressed past the group stages and currently they are ranked 28 in the fifa world ranking they wow. are key players um uh, kazri we all know him of when he was in Fula in sunderland and in france he's one of the top players in Africa, Kazri. He's a very, very wow. good player. He he has 59 caps for them and 19 goals. He's the captain of the team currently. And they have Yus Yusuf Nakala Maskani. Mas Sakani. Oh, yeah, Yusuf Maskani. So he has 68 caps wow. and 12 goals. And they have the United uh, Golden Boy, one of the United Golden Boys, which is uh, Hannibal. I had, I hear a lot of him. I've never seen him. I really, I don't know who he is. But maybe you can tell us about him. He has played three games for them and zero goals. Of course, he has, he doesn't have the experience, but he's playing for one of the biggest clubs in the world. So we have to take notice of that. So Che, tell us about their players. Tell us about Hannibal. Hannibal, so this is a regular girl. Wow. <laughs> Play, play with Jarabahel because we we'll see man spend nine million on him. Uh -huh. Which are nine million? Nine million again, go in a Fumjogi, Bantim and Negon. Monaco, Monaco, Monaco. Okay, nine million. Nine million. Oh, uh, he's, 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 he has a very bright future. He's multi talented. So now I'm going to break through Simani's team this season. Uh, I don't think he has a chance this year. Okay. Um their names, of course, Kazri. You cannot see any household name who's playing at the top of the, you know, 
European games. Like even Mali have players who are play who are more popular now than Tunisia. But of course, it's the team, right? When you talk about Tunisia, you are talking about the team. It does not matter where they are playing. Same teams, they are usually very solid. When it, uh, this Arabian team, like this, you know, middle like Arab teams. They are very, very good. And Tunisia is one of the most experienced teams in Africa. I think that is something that pu- that takes them forward. What do you think about about, about their team in as a whole? Same team we had. Same team we had. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, num, 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 football. We're going to go there. Num, collective land. Yeah, yeah, collective nah, football. Num, num, black, black, Africans in Uli. Num, physical, physical, physically, full in the, full in the, full in the dollar neka. So we're going to go there. Tactically. And actually, um, if you look at their qualification process, uh, I think they only drop two points in the qualifications. They played six games, um, win five, and only draw one. So that is just some record. And they were in the same group with Guinea, like Libya and Tanzania. So I think that was a very, very yeah, like solid qualification process. It's never uh, like, it's always straightforward for them when it comes to qualification and when it comes to these competitions. So I think they are the toughest team we will be facing in the group. Um, uh, if we can get something out of that game, like a draw or something, I think it's going to be a huge result for the Gambia, right? Yeah, big results. But I know why why Karzi. Because he's one of the best dead ball dead ball takers in Africa. Yeah. But I'm coming in here from Karzi. Yeah. But I'm trying to tell you, I'm watching star player. I'm watching star player. Work up, work up, work up, work up. Nim nim carry guy. And they didn't qualify. At least it's gonna I go somewhere. Yeah. Against against gonna against England. I'm gonna discuss England. I'm gonna. So my lolo. Yeah, we yeah. Anyway. Mm, that's nice. But coming back to Lingawa, come Ah, man, I'm doing a lot of things. Then I'm doing military. I'm I'm drawing Mali. I'm drawing Algeria. I'm drawing Tunisia. You qualify. You Even qualify. with four points, you can qualify. Because yeah, yeah, probably. They can qualify. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's gonna be. So the groups are gonna be like. Uh, there are six groups. So fourth and second is gonna qualify in each group, and then the. Uh, that's gonna be twelve teams, and then you're gonna have four best seconds, right? Four, four best start positions. Best start. Four ta- four best start positions. So yeah, of course, of course, um, there is a big chance to make it into the last sixteen, and then hopefully we will take it from there. And maybe in the last sixteen, it's gonna be Senegal, and that one is gonna be Hamga. But we don't know you, Senegal being them, the new guy, Nadu. Yeah, okay. Rabana, you can you just go one game at a time. Uh, let's think about Mauritania, how to beat Mauritania, and then we can start thinking about the next one, and then the next one, and then think about the next one. So let's see how it goes, Coach. Coach, I think what I'm mean, um, I'm um, I learned a lot about these teams. I did not know much about them, but going into the podcast, I have to do a little bit of checking. But you, you, Hamga, you are more expert with me, so young mag, young mag, gonna enlighten. No honey, but like you know, I will. Did I am good by hell? But I think it was a very interesting discussion and we're going to continue this. We're going to have more charts going into the Af- and we're going to monitor all their progresses, these teams and our players too, of course. I think that's the main thing. We try to know what our players are doing, how they are progressing and then we try to bring that news to the Gambians. Hamga, no, 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 African Cup, be, we're going to continue doing it. Coach. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah nice yeah, there you have it listeners um coach has spoken please help by subscribing to the uh, youtube channel and uh if you like what we're doing please hit that like button 
and also just hit that notification bell so that anytime we release any podcast which we will try to do as regular as possible you will be the first to know guys so on that note um on behalf of coach and myself i would like to say good day to you all have a good good night i'm in japan so okay good day and uh, yeah have a wonderful sunday guys